hello everyone and thank you for coming to the channel hopefully you all can hear my voice i was having technical difficulties i could hear it on my end but it seems like when y'all were trying to view it y'all couldn't hear shit oh it was so low <laughs> i was like whoa my family was getting on my ass yes that's my youtube family they don't take no shit either and they don't take nothing less than me being perfect on when i release my videos child so i heard y'all i heard y'all loud and clear okay i hear y'all all right shout outs to y'all to try to tell me shit is going wrong on my end fix it <laughs> but happy 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 fourth of july everyone thank you thank you thank you and i hope y'all have a very safe pleasant and joyful holiday and you really we should take this joyful holiday spirit each and every day that we're out there we don't need a damn holiday to tell us to be nice and be grateful and thankful yes 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 okay but i'm here today to talk about this video the girls of escape that's meaning candy the two scott sisters and tiny coattail harris was out there at the essence fest shaking their tail fellas making it do what it do and that's girl power okay without the men and I like to see that. I like to see that. You know what I'm saying? They work hard. They do what they got to do. They demand respect. They demand uh, the best far as, you know, putting themselves out there. The advertisement. The radio people. Getting them. Showing them. And definitely, not least, the fans. Okay? For uh, fanatics. The ones that come and show up every time. Don't care if they on key or off key key they still there now that's a cause for the paw with a pause for the cause okay but um yeah candy is out there doing the darn thing she said i ain't missing a check <laughs> i don't care if i'm sick i ain't missing a check so she really does to be seen in and everywhere but i tell you i know candy wasn't gonna miss too many escapes um we call it uh not previews but um shows she was not going to miss too many shows because she didn't want the masses to forget about her but candy girl you might be you know running yourself in the ground but i guess you got to get it while the iron's striking hot because when you get in your fitness, girl, well, middle fitness, I should say, you start looking at your mortality. Or you might have already figured that out, that you're not going to be here long on this earth. You do have a definite time space of when you're going to be able to make that money and be with your family okay because money don't mean a thing if you ain't got the health to enjoy it or you don't have the people around anymore to help you enjoy it so yes honey pay more attention when you get into your fifth as god willing you uh get a chance to see it um start being with family you know what i'm saying let these people uh give them wings to fly or give them the motivation to fly because you're not going to always be there with the bank account to bail them out so my deal is unless they old and when i say old i mean very very seasoned very well done and that's when they're in their 60s towards re retirement on up then you have to do what you got to do if you've been doing it taking care of them is what i'm saying to a certain degree then keep on doing it god will bless you for that okay because you do it without any thought you do it because you have the compassion to do so okay so yeah uh let you know you let you have a, a good foundation for your kids but let them be educated or let them go take uh classes in school so they can survive 
on their own when you and Todd are no longer here on this planet Earth. Or y'all just done did all y'all can and y'all can't go do, you know, um, the tools of the trade anymore. You know what I'm saying? Because you, hopefully you'll be enjoying. Well, I don't know if Riley going to give you anything. I don't know if Kayla going to do it either. So you really might be waiting on uh, baby girl Blaze and baby boy. Uh, ace to bring you some grandkids but you know maybe cooler heads will prevail and uh, riley um will have you one if she feels like she wants to do it because she's all about her and she has made no mistake in that situation by telling you and her family it's about her life it's about her time and you know hey i can understand it from a, a young person and they want to go and conquer the world and they've been given the tools of uh, education or uh, worldly experience to be able to go out there and do the darn thing okay i don't know about kayla because todd don't really let kayla get on camera to see how she's fair and see how she's doing what is she, you know what she's doing out there in la i think they know they're in new york i believe and i think she had an internship where she was working with somebody in the business the fashion business and stuff so hopefully she's still doing okay or very well and she's uh definitely making a mark in the community as well as in her career to do those things that's going to keep her employed where she don't have to depend on her mother her stepmom or her dad because Todd look like he just all about making her work 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 for it and then you know uh he ain't gonna help her out but you know I don't know I, I don't know about that Todd situation because like I said ah, he can't even get it right to do things on his own and help him help him help himself you know because he always saying what he do for candy what he do for candy but candy's already solidified out there she's already known out there so what little idea you give her she gonna make it work and then she's gonna get people to help her make it work you see what i'm saying so an ideal is just that it's free thought it could fail or it can take wings and grow and become bigger so don't think you the be all get all mr Todd, tiny Tim Todd Tucker, that you give her ideas and they are all golden. Because tell you the truth, loudest is kept quiet. More of I'm going to speak it out. You need to be saving those ideas for yourself. You need to be doing business away from your wife so you can get some shine that is very well deserved you see what i'm saying because candy has a machine behind her she knows the trade of the enterprise of the music industry now if you're more in the film industry part then you need to go do make it do what it do and brand something like todd tucker enterprises okay I want to root for your top. But you, st you seem to be uh, on Candace's nipple. Still trying to drink that breast milk. And you won't let it all come out. You see what I'm saying? We need to see you now. We don't saw you being married to Candace for XYZ time. And now we need to see you cut the tit. Get off the tit. And show us what you can do. Nothing that candy because that, that that whole thing about y'all saying y'all want to keep doing things together and that's what y'all supposed to do child break the cycle okay we saw how michael jackson <laughs> family tried to work together and we see how that ended in divorce okay broken homes broken marriages so it's nothing wrong with doing activities and making money separate from each other I would even say, why don't y'all compete against each other to see what the two of y'all can do amongst being connected together. You know what I'm saying? Y'all live wholesomely in the house. Y'all do family activities. Y'all do family trips but when it comes to business. Make it a, a, a friendly competition to see. And of course, Ken might have to give you a little leeway or whatnot. But focus on yourself, what you want to do. You don't want to be seen and going out this world as Mr. Burris, okay? I know that can get very daunting being in her shadow, okay? Uh, so talk, that's what we need for you to do. At least, if not for this year, make it a priority to get your shit off the ground, okay? Get your team together and be formidable, formidable opponents, 
or an opponent against Candy. Because Candy likes competition. She likes free will competition. She's a very competitive person. Okay, so give your wife a run for her money and see who will prevail. But it's all done in a good spirit. It's all done in fun because all the money comes back to one source. And that's the family plot. Okay, so stop trying to demean Candy in some way or make her feel kind of guilty that she was more established out there in the music industry than you would ever be. Or I can, I can back it back a little bit that you would ever be at this time. Okay, but I am so proud of those escape women doing what they do we know tiny Cotel harris has ti just you know dimming her light here and there you know what i'm saying if he ain't being seen he don't want his wife to be seen but uh don't have no more babies uh tiny go on and live your life very fruitful very plentiful and we know you're gonna stay with ti you know because it's just what you do okay what you've always done but you were a formative competitor out there before you and ti got together pretty much you were taking care of him until he got out the trap house and got on the mainstream and found his talent i don't know why he think his talent now is a part of the comedy world it's not he can make some people laugh at some given time but to actually get up there on stage and make total strangers laugh at your commentary that's another whole ball game uh, another whole ball game exactly that he fell miserably in i don't know when they're gonna get to let you make movies again or even put out an ep or an album because you know to me <sighs> you just haven't been getting it you know maybe your career has run its course okay because you're out here trying to say i can i'm up there with jay-z if not better or i i, I can uh Shit, I don't know who, well, I know you can fuck with uh, Tupac, nor Big and Smalls, but they're no longer here. There's no need for us to keep comparing the two because we know that's not your caliber. And as far as this quiet as this cap, loud as I'm going to speak it out, Jay-Z didn't have nothing. He couldn't hold a candle to Tupac, nor Big and Smalls. So I can see how the industry could have plausibly gotten rid of him or them per se to make new room for new blood okay that i said it because i just feel that way those two entertainers and they were being really pitted against each other when they were living but they were making bangers you know what i'm saying if you didn't like rap music you would definitely like it after tupac and um biggest malls brought you to fruition okay I'm just keeping it real. I'm just telling how I feel in my own opinion. But yeah, let me see if I can get on Candy's page and see if we can hear a little of her music and some of the girls' music because they were doing the darn thing. I really didn't hear any mismatch uh, type of situations going on. Like the voices were like auto-tuned or whatnot. No, we were actually um, seeing what we were hearing if that makes sense well uh, you know uh and I, I was loving it i was loving it i was loving it I was, oh goodness gracious even candy had a little something something it seems like but i've, I've heard that before um when you lose weight your vocal range gets to be a little higher than anticipated because of all the um drop weight uh, affecting your vocal cords and your breathing yes because i learned that or I, I remember hearing luther vandross saying it but i like the big luther as well as small luther but if you had to give me luther i like the big luther okay he just had that velvet voice about himself even um what's his name of the vert gerald Levert. some people like the skinny part of him some people like the fatter version i like the fatter version because they still had range within their music you see what i'm saying but the 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 top person that i will always be down for the two artists 
would be Luther Vandross and Prince. Oh, hands down. They, and if I had to choose between them two, it would be Luther Vandross. Okay. Yes. But let's see if we can get you a little uh, snippet of what the girls were given at the After Dark uh, Essence um, Party and the Essence uh, Festival at its best. Hold on. Let's go, Candy, Candy! Booty, 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 booty. Booty, 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 everywhere, everywhere. Booty, booty, booty. Legs, hips, body, 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 body. Legs and hips and body, body. They were just dancing at that time. Let's see if I can find another one where the girls are actually doing something. That's a Scott sister. But Candy didn't do too bad, y'all. She had got them vocals in now, so maybe that loss weight that weight loss was doing good. Here go Candy with the high top. That was Candy Girl. That was Candy, Candy, Candy Girl. That weight loss did her some justice. Cause she hit that note. This is another one. That's Tamika. Scott sister. Okay. But yes, now they just doing something else. They kind of fussing, having a little talky talk time. But yes. That weight made, that weight loss I meant to say, made candy vocals go through the roof. So, you know, I always say candy with that back up. You know, and I'm still kind of slightly holding the firm stance on that. But girl, hit that note, okay? She hit that high note. Okay, yes. Yeah. So I was like, go ahead, girl. Go ahead, Candy Girl. Yes. But they did a wonderful, amazing job. So, and I'm glad Candy has definitely come down and so what kind of accepted, you know, that they, they are great together than separate. You know what I'm saying? It's always going to be that group dynamics where everybody don't get along. Everybody think they need to have the lead to take a song to another um, plateau or whatnot. But, you know, like I said, hell, they damn near in their goddamn fitness. And if they still want to fuss, hell, be like New Edition. Fuss, fuss, fuss. Take some time off and get back on the road. <laughs> but when they got in their fitness, every last one of them knew they mismanaged their money or somebody else that was having their best interest uh, took advantage of them not being in sync with what money was being brought to the table and the expenses of each and every tour or each and every event they did. So you got to fault them on that. And uh, they basically, uh, you know, had to come to some type of realization, meaning, um, what is his name, Bobby Brown, Ralph Transfant and Johnny Gill, they really had to sit and look at what it is, look how old they are and what they want to do going forward because they're not powerful by themselves, but they are extremely powerful and uh, and reckon to be uh, not messed with together. You see what I'm saying? Because when you go to a, a new edition concert now with all six members, it was five, but we added Johnny Gill, or they added Johnny Gill to the mix, and he comes out with his own, what do you call it, uh, features of songs that were number one. Then you have Bobby Brown, okay, coming out, solidifying himself as a solo artist, 
and had many dynamic hits. And then you had Ralph Transvant, who was sold the idea that he was the master of the group instead of him letting people say that, but him being humble and understanding how far his voice was going to take him. I mean, he had the looks, don't get me wrong, but you know, he didn't fare too well on his solo attempts. I mean, yes, uh, Mr. Sixativity got me. It was real good. Um, and then I keep thinking what are the other ones and it nothing really comes to mind. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, somebody elevated his head real, real bad. And uh, like I said, nice looking guy, nice looking cat, can dance, yes, and a lead singer. But he had to forget about Bev, Bilb, and DeVoe. They actually did some good harmonizing on uh, with, with Ricky Bell assisting for the main person to uh sing those notes and um uh, devoe and uh bell they both had rapping abilities so they made themselves a group and it was very uh formative to be reckoned with as well so you get like let me see one you get like four concerts into one project you see what i'm saying so that's how they're making it make it do uh now because you they're showcasing each and every one of them and their talents so maybe us the escape girls can look towards that and be wanting to do it as long as Bill Bill DeVoe, Mr. Rob Transvent, Mr. Johnny Gill, and Mr. Bobby Brown have been able to do it, but do it in one format. Okay, one performance and having all those different acts follow in um and told with it but i'm glad to see candy still being open-minded uh she ain't gonna miss no damn bag for nobody okay she may have some some unresolved feelings here and there about them scott sisters or one of them scott sisters but she has definitely been told by tiny Cotel, who seems to me other than more mother joyce mama joyce she is the only one that can check candy check her real well well it can hurt candy feelings but she'll know that her sister and tiny their relationship she's coming from a great sister role and a great sister's uh type of love that you ain't gonna get from you know a naysayer or you know a friend you see what i'm saying they've been friends for a very long time that is how candy got introduced to the real housewives of atlanta because it was brought for tiny to do it. but i think t i was in jail at the time and t i didn't want nobody to shine but him he like no nah, baby you need to watch my babies our babies and i'll take care of us when i get home because that really could have been tiny spot but you know of course t i didn't want her to blow up you know and and, and she be calling the shots because she was already calling the shots when he was just a little runner man out in these streets making it do what it do with the agriculture okay with the weed with the old way okay she had to make him a legalized man and, and you know i guess be there for him uh but like i said she enjoys being a mother uh, I guess the majority of it, but now she, her children really have grown to a certain point where she don't have to be there with them all the time. She only has, well, what is, uh, the two, well, one of the boys graduated, then you got Major, and then you got Mrs. Uh, Aris, okay? But Aris in her own mind, I think she's going to definitely blow out and be very uh, much so in the industry, okay? She's going to do something. Put it, <laughs> put it like that. She's going to be something. And she's definitely going to be an entrepreneur. Because she, she's funny. I'm telling you. She's funny. And she definitely got the confidence to do that. So I would love to see Ace and Blaze and uh, Aris uh, get together. And see what they're going to do. As far as being in the music business. Or being uh, some intricate part in the business. If it's not performing. But yeah, and I just had to give it to y'all. I'm still trying to check the volume. And I think uh, from what I'm seeing on my screen, you all should be able to hear this uh, particular video. I can't go back and do the other ones. They just is what it is. Put it up to your ear. Put it on the speakerphone. I don't know what to tell you guys. Because, you know, I, mm, mm, once I do something, that's it. Y'all know y'all got half of me. And, you know, the other half is just like, ooh, child, I'm very temperamental. Once you sit and do stuff and, and you have to edit and this, that, and the third, shit, you don't be want to go back. Because uh, I had to pull one back last night. Uh, this particular video, actually, because I had recorded it. And it played well for me. And then when I released it out into the atmosphere of the YouTube world to my family, 
it didn't say shit. I mean, I couldn't pick up nothing. I was mad as hell. And I was like, well, one summer in the morning, I said, I'm, I'm finna take my behind to bed. And, and we're going to make it do what it do if the Lord raised me up for another day. Which he did. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise the Lord up in heaven that he opened my eyes and got my mouth to talking. And I'm here to give y'all a uh, conversation in the house okay so come visit me a lot more today because i am going to be spitting them out um because that's what i do pretty much and i've just been a long weekend for me and i've definitely enjoyed it uh you know just being around doing nothing this this holiday i ain't do nothing no I'm cleaning no now i just want to get on my youtube take naps be with the family uh, my biological family, that is, and um, be with you all on YouTube and catch up on some stories, okay? But that's all I got, honeys, babies. Y'all be blessed and continue, continue to have a great, wonderful, and safe uh, holiday. And um, hell, just relax. If you haven't relaxed, you've been working and doing, making to do. Hell, don't even get out there and cook if you don't feel like. Go buy the shit. They got some. We got some real from uh Kroger. Uh, grocery store yesterday and we're gonna make it do what it do because i ain't i damn sure ain't gonna do nothing okay but i will see y'all next video y'all be blessed bye bye